Dang, that is some pretty frets. Reflection City. I have a little trouble getting these keys to work, though. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Welcome back again, folks. Today we are installing Grover tuning heads, tuning machine heads. I just opened this package up just now, right before I uh, turned the camera on a few minutes ago. And uh, it's got all the tuners are there. Everything's cool. Uh, it's got all the... Uh, uh, bushings, I can't, that's not what they're called, I can't think of, got all the screws too, and no directions whatsoever, man, no directions, nothing, none, I mean, the tuner, as you saw, will fit through the holes, but these, uh, bushings, it's not bushings, what's it called, I can't think, man, you know, I've got to drill the hole out big enough for this to fit down in the top, drive it into the top, also, it would be nice to know what, uh, size drill bit to use on these tiny little screws have no clue okay? no directions nothing let me show you this this was the only thing that was in the in the thing yeah you can pause that and read it if you want to but that's it man a uh, little tag there on the box but uh, nothing no directions nothing I don't even know what the shaft size is I don't know what the screw sizes are, the diameter, or the diameter of this, uh, these, uh, what are those things called, man? I want to call them bushings, I guess, because I can't think of it. Anyways, I'm charging the drill up right now, and I'll get my, uh, uh, my, this thing, and we'll find out what size they are. How about that? That's the best we can do. So let's do it! I got a board clamped piece of wood clamped right here to the front and I'm drilling through the back reason being this is chipped all to shit up here on the front I think one of you guys mentioned it in another video it came from Stumac that way the back of it's even chipped it's both sides I don't know how they did it it's like they drilled some from one direction and some holes from the other that's what it looks like <laughs> but uh, I don't know man anyways I got a board a piece of board wood clamped to it here covering all three holes and uh, it's just a really big ass drill. It's 10 times too big for this job, but it works. It's, it's doing, it's okay. I did it on one already and it was good. And the board, the wood is there to keep from uh, chipping out on the front side, you know, as little as possible. I want to stay as straight to the uh, headstock as possible as well. And I'll just drill until I see white wood and I start seeing white there it is I see that white and I know I'm all the way through it and I start seeing that wood come up out of the hole all right here we go the white wood which is an indication we are through <laughs> splits in those three holes other than what was already in there you can see that but uh, oh you can't see it can you these, these were already here you can see them there too that one's not too bad yeah what are you going to do who you going to call I'm going to do the other side here now and just do the same thing I won't uh, bore you completely to death with that I just put this smooth edge of the wood against the uh, thing, clamp it on there, drill them all three again, hold on. Good. One 
stay straight with the headstock as I can. Well, that bit really bites in. That's a 2164, by the way. That thing really digs in fast. I'm just taking a very old, rusty razor blade and skimming across these. We don't have any chip out at all other than what was already there. I can't believe Stu Mac would do some of this stuff, man. Get rid of those edges. There we go. No, it's still there. It's razor blades dull. But yeah, putting a, a block of wood up there like that. That yeah, that's they obviously didn't not do that when they when they made this thing. Uh hold on, I gotta get more tools. <laughs> now I don't have a press, the right kind of press like I would like to have, but I'll show you a way that works that I do use is just try to get these things started in there as straight as possible like so and you can just take a regular clamp and just like that it is done just make sure you get it started straight Another good thing too, these are going to cover up Stumax uh, where they grilled chip outs. Uh, so that's good. At least they won't be sticking out where the world can see them. You can see how slick this works. I didn't see this one here better. Well, I don't know. I can't hold it where you can. I'm not very good at doing anything left handed, but I'll try. <laughs> here we go. Do shit left handed. See how sweet that is, man? It just shoves that thing exactly where you want it to go. Little to no problemos. And we like that in this day and age. Trying to hold a guitar up here where you can see. Kind of see what's going on. You don't want to shove it down in past the... Uh, surface of the guitar you can embed the thing in there countersink it so to speak you don't want to do that but we got a good nice tight fit that drill bit by the way was a well maybe I already said that was a 2164 that's what size these eyelets are or whatever they're called man I cannot think what these are called yeah that covers up Stumax Funky work quite nicely. And then we'll just take a. We got to drill holes for these two and no directions to uh, find out what size holes it'll take and give you an idea here what it looks like, what it will look like. And there you go. Get an idea of what it's going to look like, anyways. It'll be nice. I'm going to. Uh, Mike those screws, see what diameter they are. They're tiny, tiny little things. I'll mic them and then get a drill bit, and bring you back, and we'll drill holes in the other side of it. Hold on. Here I am just uh, lining the side of the screw here. This, there's a straight part on the side of these keys. And I'm lining it up with the side of the uh, headstock and just lightly marking it where we want our holes. Yeah, I can see that okay. 
need, need a key for the other side. And it should be one of these. Very hard to see and try to keep everything on camera at the same time. Yeah. Very good. Very much good. And there we go. And still got to get a, still got to go get a drill bit. Anyways, that's done. Now it's very important that you mark your depth on your drill bit. See what I mean? That is the length of the screw. I'm going to drill up to the tape, up to where the tape touches the wood, and that's all. I don't want to go any farther than that. You don't want to drill completely through the, through the thing and have the drill bit come out the other side of the headstock. That would be nasty. The drill bit, by the way, hold on, <laughs> the drill bit is a 1 16th, that's what the screws, actually screws were a little bit bigger than that, I think. And that's the way I put keys on, tuning machines. Is a tiny little bit. Okay, we're half done. Now let's do this other side here. You can see how far that bit goes in there. I think you can see that. It's almost going to the other side, but that's how long the screws are, so it should get a good bite into the wood. Shouldn't have any problem holding these keys in place. That one's a little bit hard to see. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to have to draw it again stick the key on there and mark it better. And there we go. I'm gonna let me put that one key on, and uh, I think these were for that side. I can't remember. Too good. No. Yeah, maybe it was. No, I don't know if this is it. The drawing, the drawing. The lead doesn't, isn't showing up too good there, so I just want to mark that one again. Yeah, I know I can see it. Okay. One to go. That's usually the one I always screw up. If I'm going to screw up, it's usually that one, the last one. All righty. All 
I need screws, screwdriver. Well, hold on, I gotta go get a really tiny screwdriver. Can't find it. And wouldn't you know, it was laying right there under my under my face, man. <laughs> I have a hell of a time picking up little tiny things like those screws, man. Got them in a little plastic bowl over here. And it is all I can do to pick one of them up. Here, see, I can't hold on to them. If you got good use of your hands, guys, enjoy it because it's not promised that you'll always have that. A musician's nightmare. Focal dystonia is a musician's nightmare. Anyways, this is what's going on at the house. Where's that little mother at? Try to press it down in there enough to make it stand up so I can get the screwdriver on it, but, but you guys are seeing really well, aren't you? There we go. Alright. More screws. I won't bore you completely to death with this. I'm just showing you what's happening. And I'll bring you back, uh, I don't know, <laughs> sometime in a little bit, a little bit, when we know more. Hold on. <laughs> and there you go, guys. It's a done deal. Here's what she looked like. Very nice. Backside. I'll loop these up good, too. They're kind of stiff. Well, they're not bad stiff, but... A little bit of three-in-one oral, right, Earl? <laughs> Always does them good. Yeah, first one's a little bit stiffest one, probably the bunch, but there's a good case. I also checked that uh, screw in the gear, too. I checked all six of them. They're good. But there's what she looks like. Check those frets out, man. Those frets are just gorgeous, baby. Starting to look a lot like a guitar now, finally. Starting to look like a guitar. So, next video, I hope this helps some of you guys if you ever do that. Uh, especially if you got to do it without directions. Man, that's just a crock of shit right there. No directions whatsoever. And a brand new pack. Didn't look like it had ever been opened. Maybe it had been, but it didn't look that way. Um, what are we doing next to this? So we're going to string this guitar up the next video on this guitar. I don't know what you'll see between now and then. You'll probably see other videos on other things. But next video on this guitar... We're going to put strings on it, at least uh, two E strings, and start getting it into the ballpark, setting it up, set the neck relief, nut action, uh, string action. I'm going to have to take some off of this really high saddle I've got in there to get the action down some. That's why I left it high like that. So I would have plenty to take off. And it worked out, it uh, looks like, in our favor. So uh, here's the, the YouTube queen. Where you been, Q? I've been missing you, baby. You want to tell the YouTube family? Got anything to say to them? Like, I love you. Mm. Say again. Mm. I love you. No. Oh. Ah. I love you. Ah. Say what? Ah. 